Welcome back to Live Lean TV. Today we're gonna to do a no squat, no standing booty workout. So this will be great for you if you have any knee problems, if you have like an injured foot or ankle and you still wanna get your booty work done. We're gonna do everything on the mat and it's all gonna be follow along on the clock. In the first round, we'll do it all body weight only to show you how you can do this exercise with zero equipment. And if you do have equipment and you wanna add it, I'll be showing you how to do that in the second and third rounds. Our first exercise is gonna be glute bridges. So a little preview, I want you to keep your heels close to your butt and then you're gonna press your heels into the ground to flex your glutes at the top. Make sure core stays tight. You don't overextend your rib cage. Keep that down and really focus on that straight line in the front of your hips. So we have 40 seconds and we're gonna do continuous reps, making sure that we take a flex at the top. Okay, here we go. And 40 seconds of work. Really exhale. Like light up your glutes. You should really feel the muscles like quiver and really feel tense because you're really working them. Try to sink your breath so that you exhale at the top and inhale as you lower. Okay, we have a 20 second rest period and then we're gonna start heel walkouts. So scoop back a little bit on your mat and make sure that you're, you can stretch your body long all the way. We're gonna start by lifting up our hips and then just walking it on in until we reach the top of that bridge and then walk it back out. Here we go, so hips off the ground and then take little mini steps until you get to the top of that glute bridge, really press it and then mini steps to walk back out. And make sure you don't set your hips down through the entire set. Those glutes should be tense throughout the whole range of motion. Don't let them relax. Okay, a little rest period. And then our next move is gonna be abduction. So opening and closing. You can either lift up into the crab and do abduction that way, or stay on your back and do it from a glute bridge, whichever feels most comfortable for you. I'm gonna stay down in my glute bridge for this set. Knees together, knees apart. Make sure that your feet are all the way pressing into each other. There's no gap between your feet. They should be nice and tight together. And then knees in and knees open. Keeping that bridge up. Make sure again, you don't let the glutes relax through the entire set here. Good, take a little break and then we'll move on to prone curl and lift. So we're gonna actually flip on our belly and we're gonna be doing a hamstring curl but then lifting our knees up off the ground too. So try to relax your upper body so there's not too much tension there. And you're gonna lift and curl and then pop at the top and then uncurl, pop and out. Try not to set your legs down at all. Keep them lifted the whole time, but then emphasize that extra lift after the curl when you're at the top here. Pop up to the ceiling. Okay, rest and then our donkey kicks is next. So onto an all fours position. Get your hands lined up under your shoulders and your knees lined up under your hips. And we're gonna alternate sides with this one. So donkey kick goes straight up to the ceiling and the other side. Be mindful of your core position here. Keep your abs tight, belly tight. 
as you kick up. Otherwise, your midsection could go all loose. Try to keep it tight and not loose. Really flex your glute with each kick. To booty rainbows next so we're, this one we're gonna have to switch at the midway point so only 20 seconds on the right and then 20 seconds on the left so the rainbow looks like this you're gonna reach out to the side up and over like that to form an arc with your leg flexing your glutes 20 seconds up and over I'll tell you when to switch sides again be mindful of your core Try not to let the spine move too much. You want to keep everything stable and just focus on the glutes. Two seconds and switch. Other side. So we have one more exercise before we repeat the circuit again. So we're gonna take a side lying position. And I want you to tilt your hips forward so they're facing down to the ground, but you're propped up on your elbow. You're gonna take your top leg and kick it back, look at a 45 degree angle to really flex those glutes. So again, 20 seconds per side. Just kick it back and tap down. Ten more seconds, and then we're gonna switch sides quickly. Good. I want you to just roll to the other side and go. Okay, good. So we're on to the second round now and I'm gonna show you how to make things a little bit harder with the band. So quickly during this 20 second rest period, get that band wrapped around your thighs, like down towards your knees, the bottom, and then get in your glute bridge position. And we're gonna do the glute bridges again, this time with a little abduction at the top. So into the bridge and open and open. Now the equipment is optional. If you don't have it, just keep doing what we did in that first round. So the heel walkouts is next. Again, we're gonna keep the band on and I wanna keep the legs a little bit farther apart so there's constant tension on that band. So scooting back a little bit, just extend your legs long with that band a little far apart so you feel the tension. Okay, lift off the ground and walk it in. Try to keep that band apart the whole time. Don't let those knees come together. Crab abduction next. I'm gonna keep the band on and lift all the way up into the crab this time. Of course, you can do this again from the glute bridge position laying down if you want. But I do think lifting all the way up here adds an extra element of challenge. So feet all the way together. We're gonna to be open, closed on that band. So tight glutes, open and closed. 
pose. Keep the glutes lifted as much as you can. prone curl and lift we're gonna leave this band right where it is and then just flip onto our belly so belly down position and same thing I want you to keep the band far enough apart that you feel like constant tension there and then keep it wide while you do this move okay here we go pull in lift and extend Donkey kicks next. Get into the all fours position and keep that band right where it is. So we're gonna be kicking up. You do have to be a little careful when you have the band on there because if you kick too fast, um, it could like roll up your leg. So do it a little bit slower and try to fight that tension in your glutes and your kicks are gonna be a lot smaller and they look it when you're not using the band, but you will be feeling it. Push against that resistance and then back down. Whoopsie, if that happens, don't worry. Just put it back down and keep going. Make your kicks a little bit smaller, but still flexing your muscles. Okay, <laughs> we're on to the booty rainbows. For this one, I want you to move the band down to your ankles. Try to get it right around your ankles. And then when you're extending that one leg out, you should feel the tension of the band. And then try to keep that tension as you go up and over to make that rainbow. And go. Again, we're gonna switch at 20. Two seconds. Okay, switch other side. Extend it out. Side line glute kicks, I want you to keep it around your ankles for this one. Try to straighten it out and get in that side line position. And we're gonna go 20 seconds up and back. Really pushing against that resistance band, okay. And go. Try to make a 45 degree angle back. Really rely on the power from the glutes. Five more seconds and then switch. Okay, roll and do the other side. Good. So we're going to take the resistance band off now. And in the third round, I'm going to show you how to use free weights. So dumbbells in this case, but you can also use a kettlebell if you have them. But I'm going to be grabbing my pair of 10 pound dumbbells and I'll show you how to add weights to each of these moves. Glute bridges, 
I like to put them right on top of my hip bones and just press the weights straight up. You have to hold them with your hands to make sure that they don't fall towards you. So again, really emphasize that glute flex and push against that resistance. Okay, the next one is the crab abduction move. And this one, I find it hard to add a weight to unless you do it in that bridge position rather than all the way up because you do need your hands to hold that weight stable. So I'm gonna stay down in my bridge and then do the open close with the knees from here. So press up and open and close. Hold that weight stable on your hips. Keep your feet all the way together and then try to extend your knees as far as you can and all the way tight. Abs tight too. Okay. So next up is the, cro the prone curl and lift. And so I'm gonna put a dumbbell in between my feet for this one. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, then you know do it without the weight. But I grab it in between my feet like this, lay down on the belly, and then you pull the dumbbell in and lift it up and extend long. Feel free to grab like a five pound or some lighter dumbbell. You don't have to use the same weights for every move. This is just to give you ideas and show you where and how to hold the weight. Try to make it nice and controlled to the best of your ability and hold that flex for at least a good breath. Okay, good. Set that weight down carefully. And then we're gonna go into the donkey kicks, which you can add a resistance, or a, sorry, a dumbbell behind your knee for this one. Sometimes people like to do this where you grab it behind your knee and you do the donkey kicks this way. But if you have any knee pain, just do it without the weight. Okay, 20 seconds on each side. We'll switch the weight after the halfway point. Feel free to do this without the dumbbell if you don't feel comfortable. Five more seconds. Okay, switch sides. Quickly change the weight and lift the other side. Okay, a little rest for the booty rainbows. We're actually not gonna add any dumbbell. You could add ankle weights if you have them, but I wouldn't recommend doing this with a dumbbell. So if no ankle weights, we'll just continue body weight only, or you can do it with the band again if you like. 20 seconds per side, ready? And go. Make sure to keep your core stable. Try to make that big rainbow shape. Switch sides, go. Okay, and then the final exercise, the side lying uh, glute kicks. Again, no added weights for this unless you have ankle weights. That would be the only addition I would recommend, but feel free to put the loop band on if you want to do that resisted variation again. Otherwise, just follow me with body weight only. Kick up and back. Three 
seconds till we switch and go roll and keep going other side. That's it for this no squat booty workout. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned some new moves that you can always refer back to if you ever need to replace squats or lunges. I definitely recommend you still do include squats and lunges whenever you can. Of course, not if you have an injury, but when you are capable of doing it, I highly recommend squats and lunges be a regular part of your fitness routines. But now you know seven different moves that can work the same muscle groups without standing. So if you enjoyed this style of workout and you want more workouts you can do following along with me, I have a whole program targeted to the glutes called Build a Butt 2.0 which is follow along videos just like this one. So you can train with me, me as your guide through every single workout and full 30 minute length workouts. So check out that program in the description box below and start training your glutes with me. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you put a like on the video, leave a comment down below to let me know your thoughts and make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss future videos from us. Thanks for watching and keep Living lean.